on YouTube. So we're back looking at the car again. And like I said, I am going to be taking this alternator off and I'm going to take it to the store. So I'm gonna have it tested. First things first, you disconnect your battery. All right, so I've already disconnected the battery and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the alternator itself. All right, so directly above us is the alternator right here. And I have one nut to take out, and then I should be able to just push this um, bolt through, and then I'll be out. Then we just go down to the store. So, this is an alternator. Yeah. So I managed to get it out, obviously. And it was not the easiest thing in the world. Phone the previous owner. He was telling me I needed to sneak it out around the uh, CV axle and pull the oil filter. Well, I tried that. <laughs> it didn't want to come out that way either. So what I ended up having to do was take the alternator bracket out and it actually came out the side of the front subframe like that so i'm going to go down here let's see let's unhook it from my windshield i should be able to show you pretty easily because it's uh there's two bolts holding this bracket on but they were very tight um so here's basically the the hole that it came out of. You can see kind of the bracket sticks out the back of the block right there right above the CV axle towards the subframe. You can see the green connector there. So Take the two bolts, so the brackets right there. So you take the two bolts out and then you can kind of bring the alternator this way up and over the the strut rod bar out next to the the uh, bottom of the strut there. So that's how I managed to get it out. We're going to go ahead, go down to the store with it, get it tested, and hopefully it's bad. I'm, I know that sounds weird because it means I have to spend money, but that means I'm at the end of my diagnosis, and I'm fairly certain that's what the problem is. I don't have any other real options, so we're going to go run down there and take care of that. All right, guys, so I just left the parts store, and I'm on the road headed back home. They don't have the alternator in stock, and I already knew that because I've already checked with them once. Uh, I knew they were going to have to order it, but it'll be in tomorrow morning. So they tested the alternator, and by the fact that I just told you it's coming in tomorrow, you know it tested bad. Really bad. Like, it was like 8 volts on the battery voltage, and then like the lamp off voltage never did what it was supposed to. So, um, yeah, the alternator is really bad. So it's getting replaced, and apparently the 
So after a couple days of get, trying to get an alternator, I finally got one. I got a good one that wasn't dropped or anything of that nature, which did happen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting it on. You can kind of see that bolt hole to the left. You can see the crank pulley, all that. Got the alternator down there already. And I'm coming down there with the alternator bracket. I'm going to bolt that back up put this alternator in. So I'm back, uh, stopped to grab me a little bite to eat, grab some beer, you know, these are a few of my favorite things. Alright, so we're looking at the back of the power steering pump there. That's the best angle I can give you. Um, the it's actually pretty tricky to get this to work. But the easy part about the power steering is there's this square hole here. And you actually put a ratchet in there like that. Then you set the tension. And then you go down here to this other bolt. And you just tighten it up. And then you have your... I mean, yeah, there's a tool for that. And I actually have a tool for that. But this is pretty tricky to get to. The, um, let's see, I have to finger tighten that bolt a little bit. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to tighten the top. There's a bolt up top. I'm going to tighten the pivot bolt and then go back and tighten the bottom one because I don't have two ratchets. And see, when you tighten the pivot bolt, it holds it. And then I do have a 12 millimeter socket right here. And then I can stick it right down in there. And it's so loose that I have to use my fingers to tighten it. Before the ratchet will start working. But we're about to be. This is a coarse tooth ratchet here. Not preferred for, not preferred by Honda mechanics. Uh, 
All right. Now, battery cable's back on. Keys, check. Beer, check. Right, I think we're good. I think we're ready to try it. And uh, the light is off. Yeah, keep in mind that uh, that oil light stayed on because I just did an oil change, so got an empty filter. But no matter, it sounds good. Sweet. And no more whining from the alternator. So I'll let this thing warm up and uh, I'll check the battery voltage, but I had them test it before I left the store, so I think this alternator's good. Which means I think we're done. Finally. Cheers. Always, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. See you next time.